Hello guys, this is Toki Doki and this is a very special episode as we celebrate our 5,000 subscribers on this channel. Thank you for all of your support, alright? And it's been a while since I last showed my face in the camera. The last time I showed my face, I even had hair and now it's all gone, alright? Um, yeah, but today's episode is special as I'm trying out something new for this channel. I'm playing around with some new gear, making my recording easier, alright? And again, this is a celebration of things that are new and what's the direction for this channel. We have just been sent the Kiwi Ears Dolce earphones, IEMs for review. And that's going to be my first review out of the keyboard hobby. And I told you already in the previous video that I will be expanding probably into audio and camera gear those kinds of stuff because those stuff are my passion as well, right? Um, but enough with the intro, we came here today to discuss my top five favorite switches for the first half of 2023 and how things have changed from the last time where I did my top switches, which was for the year 2022. During that time, most of the switches they're really good, but you had to lube them, you had to do some spring swaps, you have to, to oil the springs to bring out the best in those switches. This year, guys, um, the hobby has gone so far that most out of the switches that I've tried, probably 8 out of 10 of them, are really good out of the box. They're factory pre lubed the lubing is good. I, I rarely see switches that are over lubed from the factory which is so good, which is so good for everyone diving deeper into the hobby, whether you're just dipping your toes in the rabbit hole or you're fully submerged in this wonderful hobby. It's 2023 is really a good year for the keyboard community in general, all right? So let's start with some honorable mention. Again, this list, guys, are my personal favorites among the many switches that I have tried this year thus far. In no way, in no way are these um, objectively scored. They are, again, at the end of the day, my preference, all right? And I appreciate those of you who, 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 who have quoted my reviews. I appreciate everyone who have told me that uh, they find this review valuable. Please do hit that like and subscribe button. It really means a lot and helps the channel, all right? So again, let's start with the honorable mention, okay? Um, I have two honorable mentions which did not make it to the top five, but I think they're awesome and wonderful switches. The first one is the Gatron Luciolas. Gatron Luciolas are really wonderful and unique. They have a very thin sound profile, thin yet pleasant, because before I hated thin sounding switches. This one sounded thin and clacky, but not in a bad way, not in a bad way, very pleasant. And it's very unique that the Gatron Luciolas glow in the dark, and I really enjoy it. It's on my daily driver, which is the XVX SK71, and I love it, simply love the sound profile. Downside is probably the switch is a bit too expensive, especially for those just starting out in the hab hobby. So yeah, Luciola. Another honorable mention would be the Akko CS Piano, both the pro and the non-pro version. They they sound pretty much the same. They feel pretty much the same. The difference is the, the pro version uh, is um, a five pin, all right? Um, those switches are really good. Very clacky, very clean sounding, very smooth. Um, Doc, I heard that you said in your video that this is one of your favorite switches of all time. Yes, how come it's just an honorable mention? Uh, it's just that uh, I feel personally that the Akko CS Piano is kind of selective on the build and the board. Um, it, it sounds super nice on some of my builds like the Zoom 65, but on some other builds like the Monsky keyboards I've tried it with, it's not the best sounding. Uh, compared to other builds. So that's the reason why I placed the Akko CS Piano on the honorable list. It's still, still a very wonderful switch. All right, let's go now to the top five switches, the moment that you guys have been waiting for, all right? Um, I will be posting a sound test of all of the switches at the end of the video because the last time I did this, the purpose was really just to tell you my thoughts and some of the viewers were commenting that, why did I talk while showing the sound test? Okay, all right, fine, guys. Um, all of these videos, 
I have a dedicated review on the channel, please check them out. I'll put the link on the description. And again, at the end of the video, I will be doing a sound test of all of these keyboards and switches. All right, number five is the Kinetic Labs Eclair Orange switches. These are awesome switches. Out of the box, they're dry, but they're super smooth. No need to lube them. Long pole switches, I love the clacks that these switches deliver. Simply, simply wonderful. And I've told you guys in my review that I feel that these switches are underrated. However, I, I was told that in some countries they're really hype, and I think it's worth the hype. These switches are really good. You have to check them out. Clacky, very smooth. I love the sound profile. All right. Next up, number four are the Aflion Melodies. These are from Aflion. These are designed by Punkshu. I love the switches that Punkshu has released this year. Really nice. The Aflion Melodies are the first switches that I've tried that are classified as linear all right so these switches are they feel linear on the downstroke but there's a tactility on the upstroke which kind of sounds weird at first but the, the more that you use this the more that you see where they're coming from in the description it really feels like that all right um mind you if you're not into deep into the hobby you might probably not feel the difference between linears and these switches but i really enjoyed using them the sound profile is a clean clock so on the jr65 it's not too clacky not deep definitely not deep probably um midway between clack and clock so more on the clackier side profile what i love about the switches is that they're really smooth no need to lube them and again they sound so clean and the feeling is so surprisingly so pleasant to use i've used this for quite some time on my jerry 65 and i really enjoyed it all right number three came in quite a surprise to me uh, this is because i haven't even done the full review on this switches these are the gatron queens um, I, I, I learned about the switches about a couple of weeks ago during the Iron Meets Wood uh, mechanical keyboard meetup and anniversary celebration. I was so late in that meetup. I, I even went on the wrong venue. So anyways, to cut the long story short, uh, Merk Keebs, one of our good friends in the community, showed me about his Cycle 7 with the Gatron Queens and I, it really felt nice. It sounded super good, uh, very deep yet lively and after using it for several seconds i told myself i had to get one of these and so uh these which just arrived just now just today all right while i'm doing this video and i placed it in my origin 65 which is my daily driver for editing photos and it's super good it's really super good i placed it very high on the list on the top three because it's it's deep and thawky a lot of people would would love that sound profile yet it's not boring it's very lively the spring weight is 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 perfect for my fingers i love the spring weight and the feel it's marketed as tactiles very light tactiles although to be honest i feel that it's kind of more of a linear switch uh really doesn't feel the tactility on them while i'm using them and uh, I, 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 I placed it high up on the list because the price is very attractive. It's not too expensive, not too, not too cheap, but for what it offers, it's a really good switch. You have to try it out. Again, Gatoron Queens, amazing, amazing switches. Number two on the list is the Gatoron Cream Sodas. And I've said it to myself, Punkshu has released a lot of good quality switches this year. The Gatoron Cream Sodas are no exception. Simply perfect and good out of the box. I've mounted them on my Mr. Suit and ever since it has not left that keyboard, that is how good they are. They are very smooth, no need to lube. The sound profile is a bit on the clocky, clocky end of the spectrum. So, um, and I prefer switches that are like that, not too deep, not too clacky, somewhere in between. Very lively switches. I love the typing feel. Everything about the cream sodas, they are top tier, high end linear switches. If you haven't tried them and you're looking for an end game switch to, to match your keyboard, whether it be a low end or an expensive end game keyboard, I do suggest you try out the Gatoron cream sodas. And number one in the list are, again, my all-time favorite. It's the Aco Cream Blue and Cream 
yellow. Need I say more about these switches? They're clacky, super lively and super fun. They're very smooth and the pro versions are now factory lubed out of the box and they're not expensive. They're actually really cheap for what they are. And what I like most about these switches is that it works well in almost any keyboard that I've tried them on. And that's very important. So really, really nothing more to say about the Cream lineup. I think they are one of Akko's best switches of all time. And probably one of the best switches that I've tried of all time. The Cream Blue and the Cream Yellow topped the list last year. This year, their Pro variants tops my list, all right? So that's it, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you for the awesome support. A lot of the viewers are not yet subscribed. Please, please subscribe and help us grow this channel even more. 5,000 subs giveaway. I'm giving away two keyboards. The mechanics are posted on the community page of this YouTube channel and my Facebook page as well. I do hope you stay tuned for my audio review and my camera gear review as well. I have a lot of things to say and share to the community about those awesome stuff. Thank you for watching. Again, this is Talkie Doki. I hope to see you in the next video.